it's, it's an arrow bouncing off of a red phone. Boom, you can't have it. How did that make any sense? We need, we need something to be a missed call symbol. How about, now hear me out. Red phone, an arrow coming off. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's trying to shoot you through the phone. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Flash Mob. Or Flash, Flash or Feed. Flash or Feed. Flash Mob. Yeah, Flash or Feed. Flash or Feed, our collaboration is now our main, our, our primary, uh, uh, thing. Thing. <laughs> All right, well, we're back with Daylight. <laughs> and, uh, we're going to... Daylight episode, poo yourself. Episode, poo yourself. <laughs> Get it, like, poo, like, two. Episode two years so. Oh my god. <laughs> Attention all employees, we understand that it's difficult to make it outside on your ten minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. Uh, we have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously, and climbing... I'm very proud I said that. <laughs> precariously? Prep them. Prep. <laughs> Pressuriaculously. This is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Dash manager. Management. You you get procuriously. But you fucked up manager. management. <laughs> oh, well this is torn apart. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> the there she is. Look at that little bitch. <laughs> I said, uh, there's certain po points in this. That, uh, oh good, I have to go over by her. <laughs> nice. Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in personal life. Uh, personnel on site state that her... Uh, God, excuse That she died me. from rapid blood Thank loss you. caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Her body was found s sitting in a wheelchair. Thank you. I couldn't see. I didn't. I have a fucking glare. Oh. Pending a police investigation, Miss Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This eerily similar to the other instances. So, a lot of people are just dying in oh, wheelchairs. Fuck. Did you see her? No. She was up ahead. She was just at the edge of the thing, and I didn't notice her until last second. So, like, the first episode, I was very scared because I didn't know what she looked like. And I kind of thought she was just going to look like the ring girl, and she was going to be, like, soup, like saying, transmissioning all over the screen, kind of, like, side by side, or side to side in the hallway. Her hand kind of scared me. <laughs> uh, Kipling citizens accused crime. 16-year-old girl allowed oh. to live, admits guilt, est condemned to hang, evil, hospita, open to deal with, spread of disease. See now, this needs this that piece of paper needs to be kept and filed under first person to write letter while having stroke. That's awful. <laughs> well, I can't move. Stop! That's her. Mm -hmm. ah. Maybe she doesn't see you. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you lived. Well, on nightly rounds, I thought I said nighty, <laughs> uh, Nurse Moriarty, uh, also the, that is the wife of Moriarty from, uh, no, <laughs> uh, notice patient 90D, he's <laughs> nuts, standing in the room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely lose both eyes. The patient uh, did not seem bothered by this. Huh. This is just fantastic. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I, I want to be crazy. <laughs> Why? Because, I mean, these people, they get, like, written, or written about, wrote about, people write about them. <laughs> Patients have ta uh, taken their pills and are all settled in their, in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled somewhat, some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high-strung and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. 
She is oddly special to him. I was waiting for her to be behind me. Right. Although I oh. know. Well, you like reading, huh? <laughs> Some objects can be moved. And climbed on. R2. R2. Circle. Circle. No, I gotta push it. Oh, no, you know. I don't, I don't gotta push this one. Clearly. He's gotta stop. Oh, yeah, get stuck on boxes. Well, I was floating. Ready? And I nah. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I gotta move it that way. Oh, that's gonna be loud, isn't it? She is or really strong. Right? <laughs> she just... Ugh. Maybe she's actually... No, because 90D is a guy, right? Yeah. He? You're a girl? He Maybe you just have a really high-pitched voice. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, my name is Marianne. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That's what? Okay. Yay, I don't have to be scared. Why shouldn't it make you feel better? Can I climb that? Can I climb this? No. no. There's stairs. Can I just push one of the stairs? Can I grab that? I, I all right. Go to your right. Push oh, that. Yeah. Dummy. You're the dummy. She really is buff. Like she must be wearing like some awesome shoes. <laughs> Heels with guns in them. It's just, I was going to say some sort of oh, shoe. Wait. There's a note over here. But I don't know what kind of shoes have really good grips on them. Oh, come on. DCs. Oh, oh, dude. Can you, oh, you can't jump? Uh, no. But you know she runs like a girl. Or the classic girl. <laughs> Watch. Watch, I run and she's like... Ready? <laughs> Arms out in front of her. Mm hmm. Go! <laughs> I think she doesn't run like a fucking. like Naruto or some shit. <laughs> Arms <laughs> behind her. Right? Maybe that's how she normally runs, but because she needs her flashlight on her phone, she just can't. That's uh, why she's so nervous. Wait, can I just walk across? No. <laughs> Broke both ankles. There's a button. What'd it do? Oh, I thought there was papers floating and stuff. Let's go. Uh, guys? <laughs> oh, that door just opened. Oh. Death. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Be nice to each other. Okay. First, game, first scare wasn't even from the game yet. Dude, we're, we're alright, so we're like a little more than seven minutes into the second episode. Well, fine. Oh no, it's getting dark. We've technically seen her three times. Yeah, but they weren't even any times that I can interact with her. Right. So. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, more doors. Oh, and now the doors squeak when you open them? Oh. Oh, hi. Okay. Well, this is where it's going to get hard. Why? Because she's going to start showing up now. The Puritan Church of New Kipling pronounced that the dark time had engulfed the town, prompting some inhabitants to flee in fear for their lives. In order to keep the peace, the local church and town elders in, uh, instated mandatory... Okay, we already saw that. So, are you at the beginning of the game now? No. Why are they red? Uh, red is objectives for remnants. The more remnants I pick up, the more threat I generate. Now, how come they were blue before? Uh, because it was, uh, like backstory could be, because blue is safe, red is bad. Oh, alright. I didn't even read that one because we, we were talking. Yeah, it's cool. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> Put back in your earbuds. Great. Right? Yeah, I always wanted to go to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> Can I open this? I can. Once a small fishing village, New Kipling blossomed into a prosperous town full of eager and optimistic people. Then they all died. <laughs> the town facing overpopulation and liberty. Oh, they did die. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Is she? Yeah, she's screaming. 
Is she close by? Oh yeah, look at your phone. Look at your oh, phone. Okay, she went away. Yeah. I don't know where she went. I can oh. barely see. Oh. I can barely see. Bitch, that's the least of your problems. Should we go downstairs or upstairs? We'll go um, upstairs. <laughs> um, up is safe. That's away from the basement. The basement always means death. Yeah, but remember the boiler room has something down in there. I'm not going down there. But we want to see what's in the boiler room. <laughs> you do. I do. I don't really. Oh, doors. <laughs> oh, a lamp. <laughs> The lamp scare you? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm the ghostly lamp. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Hi. Is that her? Yeah. Is that her? Oh, shit. Hi, bitch. Alright. See, look, I had to move. Like, move, move to the side to fucking She's see somewhere her. near me. She, look uh, behind you. Oh, I have to turn around. What are you? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> she scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I have to go back. All right. Upstairs was pointless. Upstairs was not good. Upstairs. <laughs> Basement. Basement right. it is. Fuck it. Was <laughs> good. Oh, flare box. Right? Yes. Yes. Are you done? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn off that light. If you're Okay. Maybe. Okay. Why okay. Off? Make it more scary. Why would you do that? I'm gonna boil it. Oh. Uh, hold on, we're gonna have a cut here. Alright, well then. You might want to turn on Barney when you go upstairs. I didn't mean that in a rude way. I hope you didn't take it like that. I can't really see because there's a major glare. Alright. So like this whole section I'm cutting out. Yeah. You sure? Alright, hold on. Yeah, I probably won't. Why? Because A, I've been watching this, and B, you're not going to be a better. Go put on like Family Guy or American Dad. Thank you for dinner. Alright, jumping back into this. Uh, okay. okay. Alright, so how long are, is, is each level usually? Uh, they can take a half hour. Can they? Yeah. Okay. There, uh, I'll let you guys just read this one. Yeah, guys. Box and generals. <laughs> generals. Nice. Uh, if you guys uh, actually want to read what it says, just because uh, reading things is kind of taking up a lot of time. Um, you can go ahead and pause the video. We'll leave it there for a few seconds. And then you can just hit play again. Is there anybody in there? No, there's not. Shut up. Yes, because I'm going to yell back at you when I'm a murderous ghost. To be honest, I think she would. Alright, we're in the boiler room. We're supposed to be finding something down here. I know there's somebody. Boyd. There's no one here. Shut up, Sarah. Oh, she's behind me. What? Because my phone started tweaking. Yeah. Well, uh, what? Well, like, what? Could you imagine if they made like the crocodile hunter be this person? There's a ghost. <laughs> I'm gonna stick my finger up its bum. All right. Okay. All right, she's not there. Yeah. That's good. Oh, something to the left. There's, yep. There's more stairs. 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 I think there's up. a flare box behind you. Yup. And first aid kit that you don't need. I can't take anymore. Oh, oh no. Oh, wait, well, because you have three of them. I have two. Oh, you yeah, have three glow sticks. sticks. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, man. My heart's racing. <laughs> oh, there's the Ooh, sigil, yes. but... I can't do anything here. I have to go find the remnants to find the sigil. But now you know where it is. Which is good. Kind of. I, I am sorry if you hear random squeaking, guys. It is my, uh, tears. <laughs> so wait, upstairs was pointless. I oh, you know what? I think you're on a different yeah, side of the I building. Am Son of a bitch. Okay. 
You know what? Uh, yeah, we got a. I know there was a cut there, but we had to cut some out. Uh, you know, do you want to keep going for like five minutes? Yeah, I mean, might as well. We already got the. Uh, we are, oh yeah, we are, sure. it's all right. We're at fifteen minutes, so I mean, we could probably like just keep going for a couple more minutes. All right. Go back downstairs. All right. Well, you know what? On next daylight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next daylight. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.